hello there and welcome to this video in this video we'll be talking about comments and escape sequence so let's create a new file 002 comment escape dot c so let's clean this up i just pasted this from our hello world program Now, you would realize that in your code, you would like to leave comments. I mean, it's okay to leave comments in your code because it helps you to remember maybe something that you've done previously or to leave messages for other developers. So, to use comments in C, the first type of comment is this. It's called single line comments. I'll say, this is a single line comment and the things about comments is that comments would not be executed with your code so let's run the code and see if it's going to be run executed hello world you see your comment was not executed what if we move it into the main function remember we said everything inside the main function will be executed right so let's put the comment there this is a single line comment let's run it you see the comment was not executed you could also have a comment in front of your code something like this i said hello to the world here save let's see if it's going to be run alongside the code as you can see, hello world again, because the comments has been excluded. So anything you put inside of a comment would not be executed with your code. There is another type of comments that is called the multi-line comment. To write a multi-line comment, you use the forward slash, then asterisk. And let's do it. This is a multi line comment and you close it again with an asterisk and a forward slash as you can see it's a long comment this is it let's see if it's going to be executed with our code so you see it was not executed with our code if i copy the entire comment and let's say i put it right here Let's execute the code once more. As you can see, it was not executed with the code. That is how to write a comment in C. Now let's take this out. For escape sequence, escape sequence is important, especially when you want to create a new line or you want to create a tab in your code. Imagine we have another print F. Hello world to you. Let's have another one. Hello world to you, my friend. That is three print F. But if we run this code, let's see what happens in the terminal. Oh, I didn't save that. Sorry. As you can see, they were all printed together. And that is where the first escape sequence comes in. So let's use a comment to write about that. The first one is N. This creates a new line. And let's try it out. So, to create a new line, instead of having what we have on the output, let's put this here. So, we say slash N. And let's put it here too, so that we have it on one line each. Save. And let's run the code again. And as you can see, our codes, our print F now appear on one line each. Is that not pretty? Now, there is another one you would like to use, and that is the tab. So, to get the tab, all you need to do is T. This is a tab. So let's assume that we have numbers 
And you know, numbers mostly, you know, we just have one, two, three together. One, two, three. If we save that and we print, you see that they are all together. But what if we want to create tabs in between them? Yes, you got that right. T, T, and save. Let's run that. Now you can see that there is a space in between them. Now you can play around with this using tab, using slash n and slash t. And let's do that. So we can say, now new line, let's create a grid, slash, then this will be 4, 4 slash t, 5, forward slash t, 6, then a new line, forward slash 7, sorry, 7, slash t, then 8, forward slash t, then 9. So, you have 1, tab 2, tab 3, new line 4, tab 5, tab 6, new line 7, tab 8, tab 9. Let's save that and let's see what we have. As you can see, we have just created a grid of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, let's assume we want to make a quote. How do you make a quote? Remember, in your print F, you have to always use the apostrophe. So, let's assume we have a quote. You use forward slash apostrophe to escape. So, let's make a quote. And this quote was made by, um, let's say, me. Yes, I made the quote. I love programming. Then you have to escape the next quote. If not, your program is going to run it with the code. The reason for escaping is because our print F needs to be inside of an apostrophe. So imagine you have another apostrophe. Your code is not going to run. There will be problem there. Let's, let's try it out. Let me remove the slash. And let's see what happens with the code. No, now we now have the quotes. I love programming, right? Let me clear this. You see, we have a problem. It's saying, come, it's saying I love programming, but... It's showing you the arrow that there's a program here. You go, you have not escaped it. So let's escape with forward slash apostrophe, forward slash apostrophe, then save and let's run the code now. And as you can see, we have our quote: "I love programming, precious Irel." Also, you can escape a forward slash. So this escape forward slash so that means if you want a slash inside of your program you have to escape it so let's say um, theory slash I mean it means nothing but I just want you to see that if you want this to show you have to make it double and you see theory forward slash six because if you leave it alone it's going to be a problem with the code as you can see there's a problem so you have to make it two for escaping it so there are also different or many other types of escape strings or escape sequence like you have on your screen or you can check the internet for more but you would not be using most of them they may probably be relevant for you as you can see on the screen but you can try them out and you can check for more on the internet so i'll see you in the next video